Hello, hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. Thank you so much for joining. I've been away for a while. It's so good to be back. And thank you for coming back. If you're new here, welcome. We're going to pull an angel number for you. Pull an overarching theme with an oracle card. And then we're going to get some understanding and clarification with the tarot. So let's see what your angel number is, Gemini. Angel number 2121, energy levels. Okay, prosperity, harmony, journey, waiting, discipline, exaggeration, the opposite sex. That day you're waiting for will come, Gemini. Maintain discipline. You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you. So that's telling me it's a marathon, not a sprint, Gemini. Okay? That's what I'm getting from this. Um, 2121, energy levels. All right, let's pull. I'm going to go with the Priestess of the Light Oracle overall theme. Spirit, do tell for Gemini. Miracles, ancient wisdom, Gemini. Hmm. Okay. Guard your energy. I'm looking at this card from the Priestess of the Light Oracle deck, and there's a light source that I'm seeing right in the center of the chest area. Hmm. Guard your energy to remain focused. That's what I'm that's coming off that um 2121 angel number card for you, and then energy levels and I see the first thing I see here is the light source coming from her heart chakra guard your energy Gemini watch your energy levels around particular people miracles ancient wisdom with ancient wisdom it opens you up to so much more it opens you up to an understanding of how things are moving and working around you gemini so i'm feeling spirit is is asking you to pay attention to your higher self what you feel coming up um don't disregard it the hermit Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, a lot of major energy here, Gemini, amazing, all right, so there, Gemini, I'm feeling like definitely this ancient wisdom, and then to get this hermit card for you, Gemini, there is inner guidance the inner guidance provides the ancient wisdom that you need at this very moment gemini but it is super important what i'm feeling is to protect your energy because there are energy vampires there are takers right so this inner guidance system brings you to an understanding of the ancient wisdom that helps to give you direction to navigate what's next in your life on your path, Gemini. And to say on your path, then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And we know the Knight of Pentacles, Gemini, is determined. You must stay determined in this task. You must stay determined to attain prosperity and harmony along your journey you must be disciplined the knight of pentacles is disciplined and responsible right stay focused on that path on that journey because it's going to pay off the knight of pentacles has a horse to ride that horse would get him or her to the next destination on the path so much quicker but 
we are reminded that this is a climb, not an elevator ride, Gemini. So do not try to charge forward. This is steady energy. So we're reminded steady pace, steady energy. It's not rapid moving. This is a marathon for you, Gemini. And then we have more intuition, more inner wisdom, more ancient wisdom coming up here with the high priestess, right, Gemini? That inner voice, that divine truth, the wisdom, your unconscious mind can be unlocked. It's going to take that, that hermit energy for a little bit, some solitude, getting quiet, right? Getting quiet because as you, as you move steadily along this journey of yours, Gemini, you are getting so much closer to your goal, but of just the inner wisdom, inner wisdom, inner wisdom. Spirit is telling you, this is super important, Gemini, your inner wisdom. You have to tap into your higher self. You have to go for that inner ancient wisdom to keep you guided in steady motion, disciplined action on your path. And then we have the Ten of Swords because you are so close to a transformation in your life is what I'm feeling with this Ten of Swords for you. Um, because normally the Ten of Swords shows up as swords in the individual's back on the traditional tarot. Um, this is the Light Seer's tarot deck I'm using right now. And in this deck, there are 10 crows, right? But with the 10 of swords, what I'm feeling for you right now, Gemini, this is a renewal. This is a transformation because you are finally tapping into that inner wisdom. So your life is is transforming right in front of your eyes, right in front of the eyes of people who see you on a regular basis. You are being renewed, but there's so much energy here pointing you in the direction the energy levels you have to watch who's around you and guard that energy guard your ancient wisdom it's sacred for you it's knowledge for you for your path forward okay gemini four of swords yes take time out Queen of Swords, yes. Gemini, Seven of Wands, and Page of Swords. All right, all right, all right, Gemini. So the Four of Swords is clarifying the Hermit card. Hermit card points to solitude, points to that soul searching, that inner wisdom. But in order to tap into that inner wisdom and search your soul, as is required of you at this time, Gemini, you need to take time to rest. You have to rest to be able to tap into that inner wisdom. And then we have the Queen of Swords clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is disciplined. You must be disciplined on this journey. You must be determined on this journey. And that discipline is, I'll say... The discipline you display and use on your journey right now, it comes from being clear. It comes from having clarity, Gemini. It comes from remaining focused. And we know the Knight of Pentacles is super focused in what's happening, super focused on the path. And then the, the Queen of Swords reminds you to stay focused, stay clear, stay aware, be mindful of your energy levels and who you have around you. And then you have the seven of wands clarifying the high priestess. The high priestess knows what she knows, what she knows, male or female energy, right? It's a matter of tapping into it. And so when you know what you know, you can't unknow it, Gemini. So you're going to have to defend your new knowledge and why you are moving and performing in a different way throughout your journey, um, Gemini. So it's some people are going to question, well, why are you acting like this now? You've changed. Absolutely. Change is inevitable. Just like, just like taxes and death, Gemini, right? So you're going to have to defend yourself and why you change. You, you're going to have to persevere, Gemini, on this journey. Okay. Stay strong, you know, maintain control of what it is you're doing and don't let someone else tell you how your path is supposed to go. That's what your ancient wisdom and your inner wisdom and your soul guidance is for. You don't need anyone else's instruction, Gemini. 
You have the knowledge and information that you need on the inside. So take the time to rest, to look for the inner wisdom, soul searching, gaining clarity in that. And then we have the Page of Swords clarifying the Ten of Swords. This is the beginning. You are you are done. You are done. So you're you're transitioning. This is an ending. You're moving on. And the page of swords is a new beginning, a new understanding for yourself and how you're going to live your life because of all of this inner wisdom, this ancient wisdom has been released to you, Gemini, right? You gain a new perspective on the life that you're living and where you're supposed to be going and what you're actually created to do and be in the world. Nine of Swords, absolutely. If you are not careful of your energy levels, if you are not careful of who you have around you, they will suck the energy right out of you. Those energy vampires are real. They know they know they can take, 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 and take from you. But then we have the uh, another page of short Swords showing up. Gain a new perspective on how you want to be treated, how you're going to live your life, Gemini. This is super beautiful. Just keep moving forward. Stay determined. Stay disciplined, Gemini. Do not overextend yourself because if you overextend yourself, you're right here in the Nine of Swords energy where you're just drained and then you become anxious or worried and restless. So watch your energy levels. Continue to do the work. Gain your clarity, your focus, perception, right? Discipline. It's just, I. this is so full of inner wisdom for you, Gemini. Gemini. Spirit is telling you, tap into that inner wisdom, that soul wisdom, that ancient wisdom that is meant just for you. Depend and rely on your spiritual team of, of ancestors, angels, and spirit guides, the God of your understanding. They're all here to support you, okay? This will pay off. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, Gemini. You got this. Let's go.